guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is clearly goes by the thumbnail, or seen by the thumbnail. My sister always gets cranky when I say that. I was inspired to do the recent slimming. The recent Sunnit Gomez, um, oh, I forgot what the event was, it was Met Gala or something like that, I could be making that up. But basically this um, peachy tone for makeup look that she has, um, Joe Kisser recently did a for her version on it, um, and I was of course inspired to do the same thing, plus I do have, um, accurately have her hair but in the wig, so why not put that to good use. This is as close as I could get to um, her dress, as you can see she's got a little white dress, and of course this is too overexposed. <sighs> I might expose only the lighting. Obviously not her outfit. <laughs> so you should be able to see a bit better now. I'll find the right angle, right angle. So and um, this chocolate kiss sliding around. Um she has a lot more of a grid looking one. Just zoom up on it. So just a bit more of a grid one. I have this one. I specifically chose a lot of toy because um they have a lot more of a gothic appeal to them, but yeah. So I was very inspired to do this makeup look. It's a lot like um um Little Mix and almost had songs makeup, it's like a single stats, except not as dramatic obviously. So yeah, my lip shade is slightly darker than Selena Gomez's. I don't know what makeup products were used, um not that does J Kisser, um, but I always get it close enough, so yeah. Anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do, I shall see you for my future videos. Bye! So starting off with some moisturizer because my face is freshly cleansed and it's so moisturizing, so this is from Alash the Vanishing Cream. Then my foundation which is Maybelline Fits Me in Classic Ivory and I will be using my Flawless Finish Sponge by Exit Beauty to pass all over my face to give myself a nice even base. Ah well that's well. Then going in with my concealer from CoverGirl. This is specifically meant to, or this one that I have specifically is meant to only um, conceal spots. It's not meant for under eyes so don't fall for it. So I'm just letting it sit for like a second and tapping it in with my finger to help disguise some of the blemishes. And then I'm going to go in with some foundation under my eyes and use it as a concealer under my eyes instead. I'm using a palette brush, so I only take like the bare minimum amount and put it under my eyes. Um, both sides, I don't put it anywhere else though. So going in with some powder, but first make it just like crease line. So just go back over with the powder brush again. Then going to take my beauty blender and just pat and very, very lightly put a slight amount of bank underneath using my BYS powder, which is like the drugstore version of Laura Mercier. And then the rest of my face with the same powder just with my powder brush. So then getting ready with my eyeshadow, but then I realised something. So taking my tip brow pomade chocolate and my brow groomer brush from Exo Beauty, I am defining my brows in upper stroke motions. Desi Perkins, as far as I know, has done the same thing with her own brows, and yes, I do still have some brow stubble streaks showing through. I will show them off eventually. So just doing upper stroke motions to slightly mimic Sydney Gomez's brows. I don't know if I nailed it necessarily, but I got it pretty close. So the tail's a lot more defined, but the front of it's a lot more bushy, a bit, a bit more fine, I guess you could say. So then I was just making the tail end of my brow a little bit fluffy, I bite it the tiniest bit and then I moved on. Going in with a painkiller, I then realised something again. So going in with my MAC Soft Ochre Pot, pot in Soft Ochre I meant, and my Rose Next brush and I'm obviously pumping my eyes. And then I'm testing back over with my Beauty Blender and my loose powder. For real, now going in with Painkiller with my Artist Medicare brush, which I've just had for Aeons. I am taking it into the crease and very high up, that made no sense. Or at least that sentence sounded very cheesy. Either way, I'm taking this about quarter way up to my brow bone. Then my palette is so starting to disintegrate, and all I have is sitting in my palette um, drawer. So I'm taking this peachy tone from the Kylie Star palette, and I'm putting this into the crease as well. So then I'm taking this hot pink shade from the same palette and in my outer V and I'm going to be drawing it into my inner corner as well but only on the um, high part of the crease so I pretty much following the same shade as last, I'm just leaving the lid of my inner V alone. Then taking a flat squishy shadow brush from also from Color Cosmetics and taking the same pink shade we just last used and onto my um, upper lash line because she has a little bit of lining going on there with the pink shade. So I watch her taking up my lashes very gently, obviously, and placing some onto the lash line. This is just a trick I learned from Mikey, or Glam Girl. Then I'm using most of the power brushes to clean up underneath my eye a bit, so to get some fallout. Then I'm taking this pink shade from the Too Faced palette, 
and run this over my eyelid with my finger. Hoping that it will get me closer to um, Selena's eyeshade, which it took me in the opposite direction, but I'll fix that soon. So just tight lining with some of what's on the a brush. Then I went in with the blush shade from Color Cosmetics, also didn't get me far. So until then, I'm taking Ivy and Justify My Love, um, or I will always love you, I forgot which one it was, but for a brow bone highlight. So then going in with sugar coated on my finger because I get the best results on my finger and this nailed the look completely. It was just sugar coated that I needed from the very beginning but you know it's always trial and error. So cutting my lashes up, she didn't really look like to be wearing any false lashes. I mean you can still go in with some if you want to just make sure they're very very fine and very natural looking. So instead of lashes I just put on mascara because basically I was just following exactly what I saw in the reference picture. I mean she might have been wearing lashes just very very small ones but I just stuck to the um, mascara instead. But you know these things are optional. You don't have to do exactly what you need in the picture, you can make it up for yourself. Anyway, so taking Candy Candy Lip Liner onto my lips, obviously. And then I'm just smudging that um, lip shade into my own. And then I'm taking some of Coco K because she has quite a um, pale blue lip. And then I'm just sort of smudging in with the um, lip liner colour because she does look like she has a bit of a lip liner going on around the outer edge of her lip. Then I'm taking some lip gloss and a lip definer brush and just smudging it in so that I can get a long nice lip gloss. Now I'm taking my Ace Tour palette from Australis and I'm only contouring under my jawline. Then I'm going to go in and of course bronze up my forehead because obviously she's naturally tan due to her heritage. So I was just bronzing it up myself to give myself a bit of a bronzy glow. That's kind of what bronzer gives us. It gives us a bronzy glow. <laughs> go figure. So then I'm just using a beauty blender just to pat it uh, in so there's no harsh line. Then I'm taking some champagne truffle from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and highlighting the usual places, cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, or more specifically the tip of it, um, yeah, the, between the eyes, sorry, the upper bridge. Then setting my face in place, even when I'm only wearing this for the duration of the video. And now for an outro. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I really did hope you enjoyed this video and Great inspired to maybe do this look as well, or even dial it down a bit and make it like a daytime look since it's obviously um, for events purposes, hence why she wore this look in the first place. So, yes, I do hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you for my future videos. Bye! So, not used to doing that with my lips. I can barely get used to this being big, and I have my own overdrawn them a little bit.